Hello, this is Father Lewis Scurdy with Friends of the Word, and I welcome you. And I also welcome Megan Gitchell. I'm here with her at Seton Hall University, South Orange, my alma mater for a few times. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I really appreciate you here, uh, mm. being here and inviting us. Um, mm. We were introduced by Father uh, Nettles. Yes. Okay, yes. I met him at, in Hoboken, where I mm. assist, and he does also. And I was interested in meeting some kids from campus ministry, and he's a Got the perfect girl for you, <laughs> <laughs> perfect young, young women, woman uh, for you, and that's how we got in touch. Okay. Now, you're part yeah. of a group called FOCUS. Yes. And that's an acronym for? The Fellowship of Catholic University Students. Great. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved with the fellowship and wind up in, in New Jersey? Yeah, so I went to school down at uh, North Carolina, Belmont Abbey College. Oh, great. Good and um, I was in a FOCUS Bible study there. so. Um, Fellowship of Catholic University students had mm -hmm. missionaries on campus when I was a student. Um, and then my senior year, I was invited to prayerfully consider applying to be a missionary. Excellent. And um, I did. I went to the interview weekend and was blown away um, by the need for um, serving spiritual poverty on college campuses. Mm. Um, and so I, yeah, I truly dropped everything. And well, um, you hit cer certain terms there. Sure, sure. Spiritual poverty. I wanted to deal with that. Sure. Um, focus. Um, yes. How, okay. They, you introduced to them at Belmont. Yes. What was? The, wh how did? How did you meet them? And what yeah. was it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't even remember really. My freshman year, I knew um, I heard about a Bible study. I think um, some of my sweet mates um, were interested, and I was as well. Um, I went to school wanting to grow in my faith, and so I signed up for a Bible study, and yeah. it was led by Angela, one of the missionaries there. Um, and I'd always been in a Bible study um, pretty much from my freshman year on out. Great. Um, great. And then my senior year, um, I wasn't thinking about focus. I was actually thinking about um, Africa serving physical poverty. And wow, so interesting. It was, um, yeah, it was really that encounter with Jesus and um, understanding the need of evangelization that mm. drew me to focus. So, so e even though you're studying the Bible and scriptures, yeah. Angela, your group leader, is yes. le leading you informationally to the, mi the mission of focus. Yes. Yeah, wow. and mm -hmm. that's to to serve Catholic kids throughout the world. So country? our um, our mission is a bit it's a bit broader than that. It's really to reach the world for Christ. Oh, something simple. Um, something simple. Good, good, good. I like that. <laughs> um, but starting on the college campus, so um, we seek to fulfill the Great Commission um, through something called spiritual multiplication. Spiritual multiplication. Yes. Okay. What is yes. that? Yes. So. Um, kind of looking at um, Jesus's model and method of how he chose to evangelize the whole world. Um, yeah, he came and really spent the majority of his time with, with 12 men, his 12 yes, apostles. Yes. And he was closest with Peter, James, and John. Right. Um, and so that's where we get our method for Bible studies and then one-on-one -on -one discipleship. Mm, yeah, that, yeah. How does that work out? So um, we invite students into a Bible study where they're growing in their relationship with Jesus in right. divine intimacy, authentic friendship within a community of other seekers and um, hopefully eventually mm, Christians mm. and Catholics in the fullness of the church. Um, and then this vision for evangelization by actually reaching out to their peers, walking with them, building up a Bible study, sharing the gospel, and then beginning to walk with them in um, authentic friendship, um, yeah, relationship with Jesus, wow. and yeah, raising them up to do the same. It seems a, a very planned uh, methodology. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you, uh, were you introduced to it like in a class setting? Or how did you start yeah. the orientation? Yeah, so for me, I actually wasn't um, um, as uh, aware of it until I was a missionary myself. So when oh. I was a student, it was it was all very natural um, because I was I was simply in a Bible study. But it wasn't until my senior year that I was really presented the gospel, invited to make Jesus the center of my life, mm. and um, started to be invested in by a missionary. So the in Bible study. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that. Sure. So the Bible study mm -hmm. was scriptural. Yes. And then slowly, by your senior year, it was in focus was introduced. Or, um, or what? How, how did that happen? So, so <laughs> I was um, I was a soccer player in college, okay. and so my schedule was um, very busy. Um, and so, as one of the girls in Bible study, um, I yeah, I wasn't maybe as involved as some of the others. And so, 
um, my earlier Bible study leaders um, didn't invest uh, in me maybe in the same way that they had invested in other girls. Oh, okay. But my senior year, um, this niche called Varsity Catholic, which reaches out specifically to athletes, mm. um, was on campus. And so by that time, my senior year, um, Allie was um, the missionary who was leading me, and she was equipped specifically for athlete outreach. And so she started to disciple mm -hmm. me and build me up in my relationship with Jesus and encouraged me to apply. And so that was really the first time I was hearing about the vision for evangelization and reaching the whole world for Christ, starting with, um, yeah, starting with our own Bible study and then wow, reaching out to peers. Yeah. And, and where are the focus uh, groups throughout the country? All over. So Catholic schools, public schools, places really? like Harvard, um, yeah, University of Illinois. And who who uh, finances you? Um, we have mission partners. So we fundraise 100% of our salary. Really? Um, we do, yes. And so it's a full-time job. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, friends, family, um, people we meet, anyone who's... Um, interested and convicted of the need to be serving on college campuses yes, and yes. evangelizing the youth. That's so. beautiful. Yeah. I, I worked on college campus for 31 years. And wow. So I, 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 if you guys were around then, I would have grabbed you. Sure. Grabbed you <laughs> but it was, yes. it's a job. It's a job. It Especially is. It on, is. I was on a state school. This is a Catholic school. So I mean, even this campus ministry center yes. is huge compared yes. to yeah, it's what we had. Mm -hmm. But um, on a state school campus, mm -hmm. that's a lot more challenging, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um, and even in the midst of, of some of our Catholic schools there, kind of there's a spectrum between how secular or Catholic they are, right? right? right. And so there's different needs for evangelization. Um, but certainly you're going to have some schools that um, the students yeah, have, have really never heard the gospel before, mm, have really right. never um, been invited or challenged to grow in their faith. And right. so, um, yeah, there's definitely different needs on different campuses. And mm -hmm. Father Nettles is the campus minister here, right? He is the director, the yes. Director. Uh-huh. Did he or a group invite Focus, or how long have, have you yeah. as Focus been here? At Seton so Hall? that's a good question. I I believe it's over ten years at oh, Seton really? Hall. Yeah, oh, I do. Wow. Um, I know we were one of the first schools on the East Coast to have Focus, um, and it, so it wasn't uh, Father Brian because he hasn't been here that right, long. Right, right, right. Um, but um, the way expansion works is um, the bishop has to. Um, a proven desire for focus to be on the sure, campus. Sure. Okay. Um, the main chaplain or director of campus ministry, whoever that would be, right. um, as well as um, our regional directors um, have to, yeah, kind of assess the campus to see, excuse me, is this a good fit for um, our model? Mm. Um, and so if all three parties are in agreement, then yeah, it's, it's a go ahead. Wow, yeah. that's great. Uh -huh. And so, so you've been here approximately 10 years, the, gr the group. The group, I yeah, believe yeah, so, yeah. yes. Excellent. Yeah. And right now, here on campus, mm -hmm. uh, what are your plans, personal? Like, yeah. how long have you been here and how long will you stay? Sure, sure. So, um, I was sent here last year as the team director, and so I was very happy to be here the whole year. Um, mm -hmm. And, yeah, really happy to return. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely be here at least through May, and then I'm discerning um, what the future could look like next steps. So I may be here, I may be um, doing some sort of other evangelistic work in the church. Great. Mm -hmm. you, you, you called, the, what was the hunger for souls? And what, what was that phrase you used? Spiritual before? poverty. Okay, I wanna, we're going to pick that up on the next interview. Mm. I love yeah, that idea. Yeah, of it. it's wonderful. sure. This is Father Lewis Gertie, and I'm sure you're enjoying this interview <laughs> with, with Focus <laughs> member Megan Gitchell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here at Seton Hall University, and I'll put Megan's info and the info for fo focus on our byline. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much yeah, for this first interview. Yeah, it's been absolutely. great. Mm -hmm. I look forward to more. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm.